By her own admission, Paralympian Ellie Cole is not a great cook. Let's see how she goes making lunch for fellow Olympian Bronte Campbell. My meal today is a cod roll and it's inspired by Josh Nyland. And the reason why I'm really excited to cook this today is because I'm making it for a very special friend of mine, Bronte Campbell. Now, Bronte used to live in my apartment as we were training for the Tokyo Games. And the one thing that she always made really well for me was a fish dish because I am so bad at cooking fish. And so to celebrate Tokyo, I thought that I would invite her over for lunch and I would try and make her a cod roll. Good at cooking anything, but then you're actually great at everything. But um, well, fish you never did used to cook me fish when I lived here. No, so. because fish was your thing, and I figured to celebrate Tokyo, I would try and cook fish for you. Yeah. Which I know doesn't sound like much, but that's a big deal for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I had seen Bronte around the pool deck for my entire life, and it wasn't until we started training together about three years ago where we jumped in the same lane together and we were laughing more than we were swimming. All right, so I see the fillets, we've got some rolls. What are we um, What are we actually doing? So if you see rolls and you see fillets, what do you reckon? I reckon we're having a fish burger. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fish burger, a fish roll. A fish roll. You've got your chunk of protein yeah. and you've got your carbohydrates. Excellent. And what, what more do you want? It looks like there's some green and things. some too. vegetables to keep our dietitians happy. When I reflect back on my time training for Tokyo, most of my memories are around Bronte and I just having a really great time. But now it's about hanging our goggles up as we get to the end of our career and just cooking for each other and just cherishing that friendship that we had that started off as swimmers but is going to be great friends for the rest of our lives. There's a photo of her and I on the day that Tokyo was postponed where we look like we're just having the best time in the whole world. And that's why my friendship with Bronte is so special because she can turn your worst day into the best and not many people can do that. There you go. Wow. Looks great. Looks way better than anything I ever cooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the skin looks so good. The skin is so crispy. I'm so touching both which of them, one by would the you way. like? On this one. Is that because it looks bigger? No, it's because it's got more skin and I love skin. Go for it. Yum. Would you like some gravy? Yes. What do we do here? Gravy? So you put some gravy on and then you push your greens. <laughs> and the greens. And then, Fine, I'll eat my greens. And then you tuck in. Actually, this looks yummy. I feel like this meal so is long overdue as well. I know, it's been way too long. How do you get it so crispy and then like so soft on the inside? Oh, it's amazing. This Thank is like you. 100 times better than anything okay. I ever made you. My ego is very inflated right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice just to get together again and share some food. My favorite thing is a Bronte and food. In that order? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you too, Ellie. Cheers. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for having me.